Hi, my name is Lara Forsick. I am a scientist and a small business owner. I also help clients with their transitions into the space sector through coaching, whether that is clients who already are in the space sector or people who have not yet had the opportunity to work in the space sector. I want to discuss a very common situation that occurs when people are contacting me about space career coaching or about their space careers in general. Usually, they don't really have a clear picture of where they want to go. In a lot of cases, they are very enthusiastic about space. They love everything having to do with space. They want to be involved. I've heard the phrase, I will sweep the floors of SpaceX or NASA just to be involved in space. And that is a very common situation, especially for people earlier in their careers, but also for people who are later in their careers who have not yet entered the space industry, but are looking at it from the outside. They don't really know what they want. They don't know how to get in. And so they will be open to anything. And I am speaking here from personal experience because this used to be me. And it's one of those things I look back and think, oh, no wonder those people I asked for help couldn't really help me. Because when I was a graduate student, specifically an older graduate student, I was getting closer to a time when I needed to figure out what I wanted to do after graduate school. People would ask me, what did I want to do? And I would say really anything in space. I love space. I will do anything. But that was truly accurate, right? We all have personal preferences. We all have priorities. We all have values and reasons why we are in the space sector or why we want to enter the space sector. And it usually does not encompass the entire space industry because that is vast. <laughs> there are so many things happening in space, which is one of the things I really love about space is that it really encompasses so many activities in so many industries. It is very broad and diverse and varied. So when people say they will do anything in space, they actually don't truly mean it. So one of the things I need to do for my clients initially, for a lot of my clients initially, is to help them really focus, to narrow it down. When they say they will do anything in space, what does that truly mean? And sometimes it has to do with the types of work they've done before, the skills, education, experiences, all the things that they've done to get to this point. Sometimes it has to do with things that they have never done before, but they can use transferable skills, things that they've done in the past that translate into whatever they want to do in the future. And sometimes they really do need to go back to school to get a new credential or some new skill sets. And so I really help them focus down on what truly their priorities are. Sometimes it is mission specific. You know, what missions, what space missions really drive them? Is it far out to explore exoplanets or is it more focused on Earth and looking at Earth observation and how do we protect our Earth's environment? Or maybe it's a national defense, national security, or maybe it is research in space having to do with the medicine or drug development or prosthetics. I mean, there's just so many different types of missions and values that encompasses the space sector that really helping them to narrow down what is it they truly value? Is it you know helping us become a multi-planetary species? Or is it helping us to communicate through broadband LEO internet constellations? So there's so much going on in the space sector. Helping my clients figure out what they truly value can help them figure out what they want to do next or what their ultimate goal is. And from there, it's really determining what their opportunities are, either opportunities immediately, you know, right now they can pursue something or opportunities down the line and they need to take a few steps to get there and helping them to execute on that plan is really what I do. So I start out with figuring out what those goals are. All of my coaching is very goal based. So what are those short term and long term goals? Then figure out a feasible plan forward and then helping them to execute on that plan. Sometimes that involves getting a new job, but not always. Sometimes it involves really evaluating where they are in their current job and helping them to think about how they can really pursue what they want to do within their current environment. Sometimes it is helping them to go back to school. Sometimes it's helping them to find a mentor or something they can get involved with outside of a formal workplace. So it, there's really varied outcomes that come from coaching, really depending on what the person's situation is right now and what their goals are.
So I hope this helps to figure out if you're lost, if if you were like me and you, you were saying, I will do anything in space, that's a really good starting place because you know you're enthusiastic. And from there, you have to ask yourself, okay, if I had my dream job, let's say five years, 10 years down the line, I have the job I would ideally love to do. And if this is something that you would like help with, actually, there's a free five-day challenge on my website, lauraforsick.com. So you can sign up for free and you get an email every day helping you to really examine what your dream job looks like from different angles. And then it's figuring out what are the steps to get to that dream job and helping you to refine it a little bit more so you know what it looks like and then helping you to figure out how do you feasibly take the next steps to get there. And I have an online course which will help you walk through the steps of how that works or I offer live coaching as well. So if this is of interest to you, if you really do need help, if you're enthusiastic about working in the space sector and you're not really sure where you belong, then please comment below or contact me privately and I'll be happy to talk to you about your current situation and your goals.